So I'm joined today by Sir Robert Sneeman, the CEO of the UK Debt Management Office. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, there have been a lot of comments from various people, from um, the government's Green Finance Task Force, from Columbia Threadneedle and many others about whether the UK should issue green gilts. Now obviously that's a very political decision, but it's going to obviously be based on inputs from yourself. What do you think of the practicalities of Britain doing that? It's a very interesting question um, and it's a very interesting topic and a one which is uh, topical, very much uh, a focus of many people. You, m you mentioned the investment industry in particular. Um, the practicalities are a number. From where we sit in the debt management office, we have to focus primarily on cost minimization. So a key practical question is what would the cost actually be and how would that cost measure, let's say, compared to conventional guilt issuance? That is a fundamental question. There are also probably legal questions as well in terms of the fact that the UK traditionally does not, because of the legal framework for borrowing, hypothecate its debt. In plain English, we do not take a specific part of our issuance and use that for a particular project. So to fit that into the green bond framework is not necessarily straightforward. It's not impossible, but it would require a number of things, including probably some kind of legislation. You use both auctions and syndications a lot, but historically you've used syndications much more for the longer dated conventional deals and for your index linkers. Is there going to be a tendency to use it more for shorter and medium dated bonds? That's an interesting question. We have indeed, as you say, historically for the last 10 years always used syndication for long dated, sometimes very long dated bonds, both nominal and also inflation linked. In this current financial year, our financing remit actually allows us explicitly to use syndications for issuance of any maturity. That does not mean that we intend to do so. We just want to make sure that we have that flexibility. If it were to help us, meeting our debt management objective of minimizing cost. Uh, that's something which we always want to keep in the back of our mind, but we currently have no intention of using syndications at the present time for shorts or mediums. So it can, but not necessarily will. Understood. Mm -hmm. And then my final question I want to ask you is the obvious one about Brexit. And you recently said in front of the Treasury Select Committee that it's had very little impact on the gilt market. On the one hand, that's surprising. On one hand, quite comforting. Why do you think that is? I think that the sovereign bond market in any country, but certainly in the UK, is driven primarily not so much by political considerations as it is by fundamental considerations around the economy and in particular around central bank monetary policy. That is where the focus is. Brexit is of course an issue. It makes big headlines. But the impact of those headlines tends in an open market such as we have in the UK, that impact plays itself out much more in the currency, in the foreign exchange markets, than it does in the bond market. At least that's what's happened so far.